Today we will go over the demo for storage foundation for Oracle Rack in a DR environment using Oracle Data Guard. This is a high level architecture diagram of how SF Rack is integrated with Oracle Rack database. The different components of SF Rack are DMP, CVM, CFS, OPM, and VCS. And Oracle Rack database sits on top of that. The advantage of using SF Rack is the storage management is made easier. You can create disk groups, volumes, file system, and add it to the VCS configuration to manage it. Um, then also we provide high availability for infrastructure groups, applications, database, and defining the dependency between them. We make it easier, we monitor, we fail over if, if there is any fault on any of the node. And also we make it easier to scale as application need arises going forward. We also make it easier in terms of agility, that is by making the process easier for OS migration, storage array migration, and also providing high availability during um, planned and unplanned downtimes. This is the demo setup that we will go over in a short while. Um, the primary site consists of two nodes uh, clustered together using SF rack, and we are having a primary rack database. And this primary site is connected to the secondary site using GCO, that is Veritas Global Cluster option. And the secondary site is exact replica of the primary site. The database is replicated from primary to secondary using Oracle Data Guard. What are the steps that we will be showing in this demo? Number one, we will mimic the DR scenario by stopping the database on the primary site. Then view the data guard broker, fault the database and the broker um, resource on the primary site. Then go to the secondary site, online the data guard broker agent, and then that in turn promotes the database on the secondary site to primary. Um, then number, number four, recover the original primary site to reinstate as the DR site. This uh, are the two systems uh, cluster and on the left hand side uh, we can see that the primary site it is configured with uh, the, the cluster service group is the one which talks to the secondary site that is the GCO component and here is the CVM data, database group configured and the data, data guard group configured. Um, the different resources within each group are shown on the left hand side. This is the wrong way. And then the same is replicated on the secondary side as shown below. There is cluster service group, which is the GC representation. CVM is the SF rack uh, infrastructure group. Oracle database group and the data, data, data guard uh, group. Data guard uh, broker agent broker group. Now let's see the configuration of the systems. As we can see, 17 and 18 are the primary site, 19 and 20 are the secondary site. What we will do is bring down the Oracle data base on the primary site. Before we bring down, I just want to cover uh, the configuration on the primary site. Um, as we can see, show configuration will show what is the primary, how we have configured the data guard. Um, so, CryDB is the primary database which is online on the 17 and 18, and DRDP is the physical stand. So, we will fault the database on the primary side. So, what we will do is we will just stop the database outside of ECS. Um, that means it is faulting in terms of VCS because we are stopping to the VCS if we fault the database. 
as we can see DG group is formed. Now we will bring the data, data card broker online on the secondary cell. As we can see from the green, it is saying that it is waiting to go online. Um, so while going online, what it will do is it will, it will make the secondary database that is DRDBSD primary. As we can see, the data card is ported on the primary. Now we will check on the secondary. So what we did on the primary is we reinstated the database. We mounted the database so that the, the correct it can query the standby database uh, as well. If that is not mounted, then it will not show the secondary uh, the, the physical standby because it's not able to the agent is not able to demote the um, Query the status on the other side, so it has to be mounted. Um, now we will reinstate the um, secondary physical standby. Then the log starts shipping to the um, new DR site. Now when we see, when we show configuration, it will say it is, um, the physical standby is up and running and the primary is also up and running. Now the logs are shipping from the, um, from the, um, from the secondary side to the original primary. What we will show now is going back, switching the roles. Um, that can be done by using HA group minus switch. So we can make it um, the original primary as the primary. As we can see, the primary data card, um, the, the uh, data card agent went online and the Oracle database ported on the new secondary and then the data card broker went offline on the um, new second, secondary side. So it also reinstated the database.